everybody and welcome back to another fantastic film review. What are we reviewing today? <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man Homecoming! <laughs> what an absolute blinder. But I will say there could be spoilers. We're going to try and hopefully not do spoilers, but there could be spoilers. So I'll stick a sticker up right on Chris's head. There'll be some writing that says, spoiler alert. I'm a spoiler. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mate, I think the film was the greatest film I've ever seen in my entire life, but I am completely biased because... Spider-Man is my favourite hero of all time. Chris, you weren't keen on Spider-Man going in. What did no, the film do for you? Like, say, like Stan knows, I've never been a Spider-Man guy. Spider-Man kind of guy. Yeah, but I actually enjoyed this one, <laughs> surprisingly. It's great, it's it a different funny. take. It was comedic. It was the same same thing. thing. But It had a really heartwarming, It had a good dramatic, story yeah. line to it, and not just how he became Spider-Man. So yeah, it didn't drag on the no, that. It kind of like this little childhood, and yeah, it showed a really great story with like Peter Parker, Spider-Man, my favorite hero of all time. It did everything it needed to do. Teenage boy, girl issues, semi trouble at school, um, what he really needs to learn and what he needs to do to really truly understand what it means to be the spider. Yeah, trying to like push himself to know everything all at once when. Yeah. I've still got a little bit of learning to do. Oh, that, that was another thing. It was all about Spider Man learning to be Spider Man. Or should we say Peter Parker learning to be Spider Man? Yes. Because even when he's swinging, wasn't he? There's, there's a couple of scenes and he's like clumsy about, he's falling all over the spot. Mm -hmm. He's training wheels. That's what the program it's, I am calling it. Training wheels, even though he took them off and it all went wrong for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. So, in the MCU, fits in quite nicely because obviously we're coming off the back of Civil War. We know that Iron Man recruited him. So Iron Man is heavily in this film, as you've probably seen in the trailers. And that is a straight up, don't kick my belongings, Chris. Totally. Straight up father-son relationship. There's no other way, isn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was kind of like that, wasn't it? Father-son relationship, trying to show him the Peter looks. Parker was Tony Stark's son, and he had to, you know, his moments with him, he had to get him to learn, he annoyed him, got himself into trouble. Mm -hmm. The Vulture! Oh my god, the Vulture usually, I don't think you've seen him before, he's usually like a frail green guy. Is he? It's pure crap, but this, it looked like a it demonic mixed. beast. Yeah. Oh, what one? Oh, Michael on, Keaton. That's player on the city. What do you think of him as a bad guy? He played it well. He played it really well, to be what honest. What did you think of the just like the Vulture, though, as a bad guy? Do you think it's a corny bad guy, good, good bad guy? I think it was a good bad guy. Yeah, I was, that's what I'm saying, like the Vulture's mm. usually, I'll show you a picture somewhere. <laughs> in this demonic beast. So I had all the aspects really nicely in there. A great plot, a huge twist. I didn't even see that coming. Do you remember? About the twist? <laughs> One sec. Yeah. Just had to cut there. <laughs> Chris forgot the twist. He really enjoyed the film. So uh, the really huge dramatic moments, all the way through laughter, then boom, you get hit right in the face. Peter's crying, he's crying out for help and stuff. Big twist reveal. Mm. And the after scene credit definitely stay for. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Just stay for it right at the end. Stay for the credit. Stay. <laughs> my overall view stay. is I'm saying 10 out of 10. My favourite film of all time. Everything I wanted in a Spider Man story. Everything I wanted in a Peter Parker story. Or even a, just a teenage film, if you want to call it that. A teenage coming of age film. Mm. Like that drama, hilarious, sad, action, beautiful. Are you just going to agree? Well, I. I, I, know, I know it's not your favourite film. No, except. Me and Spider-Man never got on. <laughs> you see him in the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like I said, I did actually enjoy this film. So, I'm going to give it, like, a... Eight and a half. Oh, that's a high. That's oh, a high. ten. That's high. Is it my best film yet this year? I don't know. Is it your favourite film in the MCU? Not including your X-Men and all that. Just the MCU films. Is it your favourite? Probably. Oh, so it beats Guardians for you. I don't know. Because I, I did enjoy Guardians. The Guardians were my favourite films now Spider Man Volume 2 and then Volume 1. But the film was great. Definitely go see it. Yes. Go get your web action on. And some guy walked past me in a pure creepy way and went, Great match. Didn't they? He's, he's got a friend. <laughs> but yeah, enjoyable. You'll laugh all the way. You'll maybe weep ish and you'll be shocked. Yes. Final words, Chris. Don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Peace! <laughs>